Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Litcode. Um, if you remember in our uh, page of that model video, we talked about the test uh, runner about the folio, right? Microsoft folio. So if I show you, so here you can see that we have talked about the folio and also I said that we are going to focus on folio in our upcoming videos, right? So what is folio? Folio is basically a testing framework kind of foundation. So that is used by the Microsoft, uh, I mean the playwright test runner, right? But at that point, if you see the documentation, they said like it is not uh, it ready for the production, right? right? And fortunately, uh, we have the production version now. Okay, so if I go back to the documentation, the same page, you can see that they have removed this, and they are saying that the project was moved over to the playwright uh, main playwright repo. So we can click on this playwright.dev where we can see that they have introduced this playwright test runner officially in the version of 1.12.0 if you remember when we start our course uh, like previous month the last month uh, at that point we have started with the version like 1.8.0 okay then we upgrade to the 1.11.0 uh, so that we can use the uh, channel options from the context uh, to run our test script in local browser like the chrome or the microsoft edge or the firefox correct now we got another update and this update looks very promising that is why i am making this video uh, in this video i am not going to code anything i am not going to explain you deeply like what is this and why we are going to use or how to use it uh, we will talk about individual each and individual features in our upcoming videos so stay tuned for that but i really wanted to show you the capabilities playwright uh, test runner has or also we can see the also we can say like the foundation from the folio so folio is nothing like uh, i mean this playwright test runner is nothing like new it is already there the foundation is basically the folio and already i said in this video like we have so many things to learn in the folio so that is what they have officially released uh, as a playwright test runner okay both are different but folio is uh, like the foundation and test runner use that particular foundation okay so there are so many good things but as a key point they says like run test across all the browsers we have done the same with the help of just and the playwright preset so this is not a major for us and execute test in parallel we already discussed about how to run our test in parallel and the sequential using again the just and the playwright piece preset and also enjoy the context as isolation out of the box that is also we have discussed this is nothing but uh, we can use the page object directly without um, importing or i mean of course we have to declare that i mean what what i'm actually mean is like we don't have to write like browser chromium.launch the context and the new page right instead of that we can just use the page object directly so that is what here they meant and this is really great feature i think we can capture video or the screenshot whenever there is a test failure right and today one of our subscribers asked like how to uh, rerun re the test failure we do not have any option to do that till now using the gist but test runner the playwright test runner have that feature so if you go here you can see that uh, test retry option is there and we can say like number of retries retries uh, we have to do so it is something like your uh, if you are aware of test ng i can compare this to your retry analyzer right some something like that but i will talk more about it when we are going to do the coding part okay and here also another thing i see uh, the visual compassion i don't know how does it going to work exactly but it looks very promising on the documentation at least so we are going to uh, learn about this in detail okay and something i really like and also i have mentioned in this particular video is something called fixtures right so fixture is nothing but a uh, we can control like how the test runner should be we can control all those stuff using the fixture so we are going to talk about this a lot in our upcoming sessions okay and there are so many things that we can perform from the command line like we can say like whether we want to run in the head mode or the headless uh, and which browser to be run and then like where is the file location and few of the things that are already available in the just i mean not actually in the just that are basically in the playwright preset right so we are going to leverage all those options plus what are the options we are going to get from this playwright test runner we are going to mix up and we are going to learn okay it's not like mixing mixing up the just and the test playwright uh, runner uh, we are going to not use we are not going to use the just in our upcoming sessions but if you are interested 
only on the gist probably I, ha I think I have given you all the solutions how to run in sequential in parallel and uh, how to uh, use the page object model how to use the gist uh, like um, I forgot but you remember i hope so few of the concepts that are very important i have already given the things like how to do the how to use the expect and everything so in our upcoming sessions we are going to learn about the folio or we can also say the playwright test runner okay and there are so many things to learn the parallel uh, visual compassion the reporters reporters i don't like it because i don't see anywhere like we can generate a um html uh, they have like json and few other stuff but i don't think that is what we really use in real time scenarios because we want to show something visually rather than some text right but we'll take a look i think in upcoming versions they will also support for the html reporter and i think that's going to be game changer really okay and this is what we really wanted test retry and of course the screenshot options on failure that we are going to take a look and page object model we have already learned but few of the things we are going to change uh, as per the test runner we'll see that okay and yeah other than that there are so many features to talk about in playwright like the auto weights auto weights i didn't cover most of the things because uh, it's really tough to reproduce each and everything um, but whenever we have a problem we have talked about this like wait for navigations and few other concepts but definitely i will try to make videos on all the waiting concept as well if i can reproduce that really okay and assertion we just do whenever with the test needs so that is also fine and authentication we can do something like uh, the using the cookies and the uh, uh, session storage we will talk about that in our upcoming videos and then a lot of things we have discussed few things i didn't discuss like the network intercept and the tracing um, so we'll talk about that uh, here you can see that we have something called trace viewer that is that is also new in version 1.12.0 uh, we'll talk about this i don't know what is the real usage of this so i'm skipping this and similarly uh, we can do so many things like the cdp the network interceptor uh, but i really don't use that in real time because uh, i don't know how to use that properly i mean the coding part is just a one line but I don't know the use case of that. So I have skipped as of now, but definitely I will tell you the features and how to write the code for that. Maybe if there's any use case for you, probably you can use that. And integration with the Docker uh, or the continuous integration like Jenkins. So we'll talk about that also in our upcoming session. Okay. So that's it. I think just a quick update on what's the new thing that we got here in 1.12.0. I hope you are clear with this and definitely we'll talk about this more in detail okay and we have also have to see like how to do the installation and how to write run the test and each and everything we'll talk about everything in our upcoming videos okay so that's it thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon and if you have any queries regarding this probably i will recommend you to go and see the documentation um, and check like what is new and what are the things uh, we need to focus okay uh, just because it supports everything we should not use everything there should be a use case then only the learning will enhance i think that is my personal opinion but i will try to make a video on each and every concept okay so that's it thanks for watching see you in the next one Peace.